everybody. I am fresh off my trip from Japan. If I look tired, it's because I am. <laughs> I wanted to do a haul of things that I got from Japan. So let's get started. I bought an embarrassing amount of things in Japan, so. <laughs> so first up, we went to Tokyo Disney. Actually, specifically Disney Sea. We didn't go to Disneyland. It was one. <laughs> it was a short trip, but I made do. I bought a lot of things there. It doesn't seem like a lot, but it was expensive. <laughs> Pretty much everything was expensive in Tokyo. So first things first, of course I had to get some ears while I was there. I got these cute turtle ears. It's from Duffy Friends, that line. It's one of his friends, the turtle, obviously. <laughs> Somebody could probably tell me what his name is, but I, I really liked the turtle. I. The whole Duffy Friends line is very cute, but I, I really liked the turtle personally. Duffy was started in Tokyo Disney, and it was really popular, so they made friends for Duffy. If you don't know who Duffy is, I didn't either before I looked it up. I wanted to know the lore behind the character. I also got a little, that's the wrong side, little keychain version of him. He's, he's having a party. They had a lot of different versions of him, but I thought this one was really cute. I don't know. He's got a little party hat and a balloon. I, you know, it's cute. That's all the turtle merch that I got. But I also got some Winnie the Pooh things. So, <laughs> featuring my personal purse, <laughs> I got a little Pooh Bear keychain. <sighs> He's so cute. He's actually very cute. I love him. <laughs> So in Tokyo Disney, they have popcorn buckets because they have different flavors of popcorn throughout the park, which is really cool. I love popcorn, so that was so exciting to me. <laughs> uh, anyways, so I got this one because how could I resist this adorable <laughs> honey Pooh Bear honey pot? And also I got to carry around popcorn all day. What's not to love about that? And finally, I got these Tinkerbell fairy earrings. They have these little jewels at the bottom, Tinkerbell. These are also very cute. I wore these while I was there, so they're no longer in the packaging, but very pretty. Next stop after that, we had to go to the Pokemon Center. Uh, there are a couple Pokemon Centers in Tokyo, so the first one that we went to was in a mall. Uh, I forget what... Uh, I'm gonna insert what the mall was called here, I forget. But it was so hard to choose just a few items from the Pokemon Center. Self-restraint. But here are the items that I did get. So I got first these Gengar socks. There was only one size for these socks, so... To be honest, they seem a little bit big, <laughs> but it's okay, they're cute. <laughs> and then I had to get some Mimi Q merch. <laughs> it, it's adorable. But it was so hard to choose just one plushie because they had so many options there. I wanted to buy so many of them. <laughs> But I settled on this one. I liked the fuzzy texture and it's Mimi Q. What's not to love about it? I also got these Mimi Q hair clips. I wore them out one of the days that I was there, so they're already out of the packaging. But, um, actually adorable. I love these hair clips. <laughs> got these charms. By we, I'm talking about me and my boyfriend went on this trip together. <laughs> I'm not referring to myself as we. <laughs> Anyways, so we got these charms. It's Mime, Mr. Mime, Mime Jr. and whatever <laughs> this guy's name is. I forget to be honest, but I think these characters are all really cute. 
right across from the first Pokemon Center that we went to in the mall was the Rilakkuma, Sumiko Garashi, and other characters store. There were uh, so many characters there, so many cute characters. I, I realized I bought a lot of keychains because I feel like keychains are, they're small, they're easy to take with you, and you can use them to decorate things. <laughs> I don't even have anything else I need to decorate, but I bought them. So spoiler alert, I kind of flung that around like a maniac. But I got this keychain, this little alien theme. I thought this was adorable. And I don't know if you can see, but he has this little hook here. And actually you can hook other, they had other characters with a little loopy on top here. And you can connect him like he's he's you know beaming up the <laughs> the other little guys you know he's he's capturing them he's an alien so here we go i thought that was adorable i don't know it's gimmicky i guess but it's so cute <laughs> so i got this little white ball guy because that's that's a mood me <laughs> i out of all the Rilakkuma characters, this one is my favorite. His name... What is his name? It's like Gom something. Like something that means bear. But he's adorable. <laughs> he's got his little fluff. And of course, it's another keychain. Key <laughs> but he's very cute. I love him. <laughs> and that's all I got from the, that, that store. So also in that mall, there were so many fantastic stores in the mall, was a Pop Mart, <laughs> it was a Pop Mart store. <laughs> I don't know what just happened to me there. I bought some figures. I, I was actually, I wasn't sure if there would be any unique figures there or anything that I'd want to buy over. I've been to <laughs> stores in, in Korea and buy from online, so I thought, there probably wouldn't be anything new or different there, but there was, I was wrong. <laughs> so of course I bought some figures, <laughs> unboxing and future video. I bought some figures that are available in Korea, but it's sold out online, but they had it in Japan. Here it is. I should have bought more than one, but I only bought one. Uh, it's Hirono Little Mis Mischief Collection. I believe this is one of their like older lines. So. <laughs> so it's been sold out online is like not available in stores anymore but it was in japan the pop mart store in japan was not busy at all which was wild because the one i went to in korea was a madhouse the one i went to in the mall it was a small store but they had a bunch of interesting things there and it was a lot more comfortable looking around because it wasn't busy <laughs> I actually went to another Pop Mart store in Japan, close to some department store that we went to in Tokyo. It was like a standalone Pop Mart store. It had two, three, three floors. So that was cool. There were other collections and figures and series that I hadn't seen before there. It was interesting to go there. I got some pictures with a giant skull panda figure. I, I, I didn't end up buying anything from that one. got was Hirono Little Mischief. I couldn't pass that up. I hadn't seen these before on the Korean website. I don't know if I just like hadn't looked in the right places or what, but they had these badges there, which I thought was really interesting. They had a Skull Panda Adams Family series badges, which I wish they had the actual figure Adam Family 
collection in store as well i would have bought that they didn't but i got i got one of the badges and also i got their wonderland skull panda series badges as well then next i got another skull panda wow <laughs> so many skull panda can you tell which ones are my favorite uh, i got <laughs> the mayor of animals collection i'm not a huge fan of demu uh, it seems like demu is really popular because they always have so many demu figures <laughs> whichever palmar store i go to anyways jurassic world i thought that was so cool i was like dinosaurs yes i forgot to include this in the earlier clip of the pokemon center it's a, a figure from the terrarium collection uh pokemon and yeah i've actually seen these around a lot before in korea but i don't know i finally just decided something about being in the pokemon center vibe i guess i was like uh yes and it's really cute i love the whole terrarium vibe i mean honestly like if you if you want to get into figure collection buy a series where you'd be happy getting like <laughs> pretty much any of the options unless you want to buy the whole collection because otherwise it's just going to be depressing <laughs> anyways we stopped in a toys r us because I think my boyfriend's never been in one before. He was curious to see what was in it. Cause I had mentioned, you know, I was like, oh, when I was a child, I liked that before all the Toys R Us went bankrupt or <laughs> anyways, but they have it in Japan. So I ended up buying just this Pikachu Nintendo Switch case. I can always use more space to store the way too many games I, I have from Switch. That was all we bought from the Toys R Us. It was, it was a brief little visit. <laughs> We also went to Sanrio Pure Land. For anybody that wants to travel to Japan and Tokyo specifically and you want to go to Sanrio Pure Land, please try going during a weekday. The day we went happened to follow follow fall on the weekend and it was a hell house. It was so busy and it's not a very large place <laughs> it's all indoors so it was it was just a lot there was a lot of people there there were a lot of things i wanted to buy but there was nothing that i really was like oh i need to have this besides these cute earrings um so one of them has like the girl and the pink and the other one has the the guy character in like a purple color that was the only thing I got from Sanrio Pure Land. <laughs> I, I think I, I was really overwhelmed there. These also came from Sanrio Pure Land. They're little Hello Kitty wooden keychains, I guess, uh, two. I don't know if they had different characters, but we got just two Hello Kitty ones. We got it with our meal we ordered the gudetama ramen we both got the same one so i don't know if it's because of that or if we just got unlucky and got the same one so next we went to a don quixote store i was so confused when my boyfriend was telling me about this because he's like oh do you know don quixote and i was like yeah you know like this the story <laughs> And he was like, no, like, like the store. I didn't realize that was a thing in Japan, like Don Quixote. There's a bunch of stuff at that store. Just everything is at that store and it's for a cheaper price. Um, so yeah, I bought a few things from there as well. First, I, I'm a big fan of Leafeon. So I got this there. Uh, it's a Pokemon tail hook. It's like a key holder you can put on your wall. I don't know, man. I was just imagining <laughs> a theme of my room or something. Like I'd want kind of a green theme. So I thought that'd be cute for that, for my future. With that also in mind, I got this Kuropi box. It comes with just like one piece of candy inside. Um, so the main reason obviously you purchased this is for the cute box. They had a bunch of characters, but I wanted Kuropi, so.
I believe I also got this from a Don Quixote when we like first got to Japan. Uh, it's a souvenir for my mom. <laughs> she wanted a magnet. She collects magnets from uh, places that she visits. So I got her a Tokyo one. Well, actually, I guess technically she, she didn't visit but I did, I'm her child, so. <laughs> and she told me she wanted this, so, you know. Okay, so I got a shirt from Don Quixote as well. Here it is. <laughs> I actually wore this my last day in Japan, so it's a bit wrinkled now. <laughs> it also came with this little, I think it's a sticker, but it has like the same design, like on a sticker that you can use. So, yeah, it was really cute. I kind of pass it out. I think there's a lot going on at Don Quixote. If you've been there, you know. There's so many signs, so many things going on, so much music. It was busy as well. Check if it's at Don Quixote before going to the Pokemon Center, okay? Shop at Don Quixote first, and then go to Sanrio Pure Land and the Pokemon Center, okay? Because you might be able to find a Don Quixote for cheaper. <laughs> so th this is kind of like, etc things random other assorted things that i got so we went to this kind of digital themed store i'm not sure what it was called i don't know i got some ds games from there randomly i don't know i was feeling nostalgic i guess their selection they didn't even have that many games they had this cute like seal game and this cute dog game <laughs> i guess i was feeling in the mood to I've been missing having a pet, I guess, so <laughs> I got these games. I learned that Nintendo DS Lite and Nintendo DS are not region locked. Because I know the Nintendo 3DS is region locked, so I assumed that the DS as well was region locked, but no, it is not. Do I know Japanese? No. But did I buy these games anyways? Yes. They were not super expensive and... You know what? I, these are not. These do not seem like complicated games. I'm taking care of animals. I don't need to know that much Japanese. That's what I'm telling myself, anyways. I only have my 3DS with me, so I don't. Since the Nintendo 3DS is region locked, does that only apply to 3DS games, or does that apply to the entire system, or can I play DS games on there and be fine? I don't know. I'll have to test it out. Okay, we got out my Nintendo 3DS. It still has charge, I haven't used it in a long time. Impressive. So I put in the game, just to see if it works. And look, it does! So it must just be the 3DS games that are region locked, but DS games are free game, bro. So here we go. Wow, look at that. Yee! I can understand nothing. <laughs> Let's try the next game. I got it to work. I messed around with it a little bit and I got it to work. I think this chip was a little bit old, but here we go. So cute. And they have all these accounts here. Yay. I almost bought a DS Lite there as well because nostalgia. The first DS that I ever had was the Nintendo DS Lite. It was the white one until I dropped it on the floor tragically and it broke immediately. I, like the only time I ever dropped it, I, I love that system. I took care of it, okay? And they didn't have another of the white system in stock. I got the pink one, which now I would be happy with the pink one. But at the time when I was a kid, I was like a pink hater. I still liked that system, but I always was like, mm, I, want, I wanted the white one. So I don't know. I almost bought a DS light there because they had a white one and it was cheap. Well, there is a reason it was that cheap. It's because it was basically like a junk system. And also, this was really exciting for me. So I love Tamagotchi. <laughs> and I eventually remembered at some point in the trip, I was like, I haven't really seen Tamagotchi merch. And you know what? I would like to buy one of the newer Tamagotchi or something. Like, I want to see what Japan has. They had Tamagotchi Uni in the store that we're looking at. They had, I think, two of the classic Tamagotchi in stock. 
so I was thinking about that. There, some girl, she had taken two of Tamagotchi Uni, which was the last two, and she ended up putting one of them back. And so I snatched that up. I was like, what is this? <laughs> I prefer to get one of the new ones over one of the classic ones because you can do a lot more on it. I took my chance. I got, I snatched one of these up and I was like, forget about the classic ones. I want this one. So I got this and actually I went up to check out and it had the purple card and they were like, oh yeah, sorry, it's sold out. And I was gutted. I was like, no, I thought I got so lucky and it turns out that it was sold out. And then they were like, oh, actually the pink one is in stock though. And I was like, I literally do not care about the color. Like I am fine with that. <laughs> so I got a pink one instead. Also, I believe that this is like almost a DLC for the Tamagotchi. It's the pastel friends one. It's so cute. I like, I hadn't even tried this or seen if I liked it, but I just thought this was really cute and it was 1,000 yeah, and it wasn't super expensive. At least I'm pretty sure this is the DLC too. It has like a picture of like putting it on the Tamagotchi Uni watch, so I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I hope so anyways. So there is that. So last are random things that I got from the gotcha machines. I love gotcha. There's something so, so, so satisfying about gotcha. I don't know, it just, Maybe, I mean, I do like figures, so there's some kind of similar-ish feeling that you get from it, <laughs> I guess. But, so this one, this gotcha machine was one outside of the Pokemon Center that we went to, the first one that we went to. I got this cute keychain, it's like squishy, it's like a pillow. I got the Pikachu one. I was happy with that. I was like, yes, Pikachu, who doesn't like Pikachu? This... This gotcha machine was at our hotel. It was like Japanese souvenir type theme. I got the Sumiko Garashi one. Funnily enough, this one doesn't even like look like <laughs> Japanese souvenir. I don't know, it has Japanese on it, so there's that, but I got the one that I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> and then I also got a dinosaur one. Is this cute pterodactyl so apparently if you got more from this collection you could like connect it from his little dangly here and, like connect them together but I only got one I don't know maybe I can put something else on there the last one I got was a Tom and Jerry one I also put this on my purse so we got Tom squished I wanted Jerry to be honest I'm a I'm a Jerry main <laughs> but yeah i got tom i just finished filming and i realized i also got this little gotcha guy it's uh my melody ghost there you go so yeah. it, my melody and then the little like ghost outfit so that's officially all the gotcha that i got yeah so that is i believe everything that i got in japan i can't believe it I'm so excited now I'm going to start like unpacking things because I want to start using things. I had no idea that I would be buying this many things in Japan. I know there's a lot of characters that I like. I don't know. I For some reason I thought I'd, there wouldn't be that many things that I bought, but <laughs> it was a short trip, so I enjoyed it while I could. Um, but anyways, thanks for watching. Go to Japan if you're able to. Like if you're thinking about it, do it. It's, it's worth it. Uh, Tokyo specifically is really expensive, so visit other parts of Japan as well. It went by so fast, so it's always bittersweet. But anyways, thanks for watching. <laughs>